Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I am revealing my brand new dining room hutch. It is brand new to me. I found it on Facebook Marketplace and I had to travel a little far with um, my husband and my brother-in-law and they were not too thrilled with me, but it was totally worth it. Wait until you guys see this. I am so stoked about it. Um, I found it on Facebook Marketplace for such a good price. It is solid wood. The glass is all intact. It is beautiful. It just needs a fresh coat of paint on the back, which I will show you. So for today's video, I am revealing our hutch and then I'm going to decorate it with so many pieces that I've been collecting over the past couple of months. I even pulled a tote out of my spare room and realized there was a bunch of decor that I was collecting in preparation for finding a hutch. So I found some cutting boards that I had picked up a couple months ago and I'm gonna be using lots of different thrifted pieces, pieces from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. If you're ever curious where something is from on my channel, I usually do post hauls of things that I buy. So I do have two recent hauls on my channel if you wanna check them out. I am just so excited to share this piece with you and to use it in future videos to come and dining room decorate with me videos. So let me know if you're excited down below. Let's get into revealing this hutch to you guys. So I wanted to show you guys these awesome doors. I absolutely love how these just slide. I definitely need to get like some WD-40, but they slide back and forth. And something else that I love is that the shelf is in line with the wood here. I felt like most of my hutches in the past, I would display things, but the doors would block a lot of the pieces. Whereas all of the pieces that I put in here will really be on display. So I've got this all cleaned up. I do need to clean the glass at the end, but I've vacuumed the whole thing. I disinfected the whole thing and I'm going to paint the backing. And I also just want to show you The backing is a little bit damaged, but honestly, I'm not really concerned about it. I'm probably gonna just cover that up with dishes or cutting boards anyway. I could totally replace the backing, but that is not gonna happen right now. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this Waverly Mineral Chalk Paint. I got this at Walmart. And I think just giving it a fresh coat of paint will really make everything pop once I put it in there. And also that color is coming up like purpley in the sunlight. So we're gonna give it a fresh coat of paint. I was thinking I could even like fill that in with like spackle or something, but I don't know. I don't think I have the motivation. <laughs> I just wanna paint it and get it decorated. So we're gonna go in with a coat of this um, I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to paint it and then I will show you guys what it looks like with a coat of this on it and then we're going to start decorating. So I've got a whole, a whole lot of decor laid out here. These are all just like potential things that I am thinking about using. A lot of this stuff has been stored in totes in our spare bedroom closet. Um, and then other things have been in my cabinets, like waiting for me to decorate a hutch. So I'm so excited to finally free up some kitchen space and to utilize this decor. A lot of it is also new things or things that I've thrifted. You may recognize this bowl. I just thrifted that. It was green and I spray painted it white recently. So I love how that turned out, but 
we are going to get started on decorating this hutch and using some of this potential decor. So we're starting out with this gorgeous vase that I just DIY'd from the Goodwill. If you watch my previous video, I teach you how to get this aged effect, but I am adding in some florals. I always add a mason jar first so that you don't need as many florals. So that is a helpful tip if you are styling some vases. When I recently changed out my style to be more minimal and neutral, I told you guys that I packed away some antiques and I wasn't lying. I saved this scale that I absolutely love. So we're adding that back in to block the big gap in the wood. And then I'm doing the same with the cutting boards, just using them to hide the damage on the back. And I think it did a pretty good job because now you can't really notice it. Something that I hope you realize throughout the video is that I am decorating in real time. I am placing things, stepping back, seeing if I like it, moving things around constantly. This is all trial and error and I hope that it inspires you to find a bunch of pieces that you like and try to put them together with varying heights and colors and textures and make a display that you love because I am just so happy with how this turned out and it was super fun to put together. So I hope that this video is inspiring to you to just have pieces in your home that you truly love.
on this bottom shelf, I'm just adding in some neutral books with these mini corbels that I found at a local antique store. And then I'm just popping in a thrifted plant that I found into that thrifted pot. <music> I was really struggling with what to put on this bottom shelf because I felt like it needed some height and I had remembered these dough bowls that I purchased. They were hidden up in a closet upstairs so I brought them down and started moving some things around to use them for a backdrop on the shelf. I keep a storage bin of spare greenery upstairs in a closet and I remembered I had this beautiful draping stem from Michaels so I just added that behind the dough bowls to add in some colors for spring and I also wanted to share that that stack of plates under the ironstone pitcher is from Dollar Tree so don't think that you have to spend a lot of money to have just some simple white dishes you could get a stack of bowls at the Dollar Tree and only spend like maybe six bucks if you got six of them just to add some varying heights to your display was the bowl that I had thrifted from the Goodwill and spray painted white. I saw an identical version of this at Pottery Barn for $60. I'll attach a picture of it here. I could not believe how similar they looked and that I got mine from the thrift store. But I'm just adding in some lemons here just to bring in some spring vibes and add some color to the hutch. Something that I always recommend when you're decorating with candles is to light your candle and let it burn for a few seconds so that your wick turns black. It just makes it look a little bit more lived in, more natural, like you actually are using the candle.
couple more things around because I went to shut the one door and it wouldn't shut. So I can't have that behind this. So I just scooched that over and the candle in the middle. Okay. <laughs> this video I just want you to feel a little bit more human um, I know it's hard sometimes when you watch videos on YouTube of people decorating a piece of furniture and you're like oh my god like her dining room is so beautiful I just want to let you know that I'm living in an absolute war zone <laughs> like I don't even I barely have any cabinet doors shut um, there's stuff everywhere, trash, stuff for the Goodwill, Easter stuff that I'm preparing for a video. So, um, please don't ever watch my videos and think that, um, I live in this like magazine worthy house because I have bags of trash all over my floor. So if that makes you feel a little bit human, <laughs> I hope that helps you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the hutch down below and let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me coming up. Do you want like um, some cleaning motivation? Do you want some dining room decorate with me videos? I definitely have some Easter videos coming, but let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.